sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? I tried. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I- This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. He is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- ah! Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Just stop! Beast! 
everything! Please. She's my fucking w Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean, just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. God. <sighs> Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... And then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it, to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but 
Just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Maybe she didn't see it coming. <laughs> Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you?
Thank you.